as for black on black crime, the reason why I don't know if there are any studies on how black much crime. hate is in the heart of a black person. I do know there are studies <laughs> on what the drug war has done to black communities. When these black and black crimes happen, it's not because black people hate black people because they're all dumb or whatever. It's because they have a vested economic interest in defending the drugs that they sell. Oh, to make a living oh my God. Yeah, you've been brainwashed, what? Bosh. Yes. All of this, wait, all of this is sociologically uncontested. This happened following the 1960s. Sociologically the uncontested. The drug war specifically said they I were doing it to gut the black I heard all this BS It before. doesn't explain but the disparity. Uh, I, I love that. I love how he's like, let's move on. That's how I feel when I'm talking to lefties sometimes. All right, I've already heard this rhetoric. I know. Yeah, it doesn't explain the disparity, <clears throat> dude. Again, he's not controlling. Uh, we've already said it. He's not controlling for any other cultures or behaviors at all. But he sounds academic. Sociological you know? paradigm, blah blah. He's just no. It's uncontested. It's sociologically uncontested. Oh god damn it! So basically, if I had gone on to a webcam and just started saying paradigm and sociologically uncontested, I would have made six figures off of YouTube. You got to do it a lot, though, dude. <laughs> you got to do it a real lot to be a grifter. That's the only respect I have for grifters. They do it a lot. And it, it's true. I, I, hey, listen, advice. I'll just say, wait, can I finish with one, one sentence? I'll finish yeah. with one sentence. Yeah. I agree. We got to pay attention to both issues. And thankfully, black people are already doing both those things. No, we just no, 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 I'm Who's being, using I'm, them? I'm not. Black Lives Matter begins to trend, and you see this huge resurgence in their activism right before an election. And I'm saying if they were truly political and truly about Floyd. black and, tr and truly about black lives. No, but if the case see how is we that actually how we just know what problem, the person's saying, then it's not because of George Floyd. Because if He's black people are being that. killed all the time, then why does George Floyd suddenly matter? If this what? is happening, yeah, because right. saying, look, wait, wait, if this because, is happening, because then every year this George. should not stop. Because the his death should have started. Wait, wait, and never wait, 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 wait. Because his death blew up. We had this happen before, and it was during Barack. Because Obama. his death yeah, blew up. How does death blow up? Well, it did because that was the inciting incident. I don't. This weird. This weird claim. You can't simultaneously make this claim towards the insincerity of the organization, but also say they're trying to destroy Western cultural I'm Christian not claiming values. they're uh, trying. I'm, I'm quoting their website. Like, what are their I, yeah. website? Wait, they the say so. Website? Dude, even Vosh is doing this. This is how much he doesn't say this to his own audience. He's going to say, show me, I think. And then Eliza Schaefer is going to forget and fucking not do it. The new, they don't believe in the nuclear family. Where, find me they a believe quote. in tribalism. Wait, okay, find me a know, quote. I'll go, I'll, I'll go right liar. Get, get, you can keep, keep. Okay, so when he says find me a quote, I love saying to a lefty, like, okay, so let's say it's true. How will your position change? Right, because, yeah, true? that. So, and then right, so he, he's not going to do that. So basically, is he going to bring up the quote and then is Vosh. Would your mind change at all about anything? Right, no. So, no? And, and so, then why does it right, matter yeah, if I can prove yeah, it to so, you? So, so is Elijah going to bring up the quote and then is Vosh going to say, oh, yeah. Well, Wild oh, goose that's, chase. That's good. Oh, that's a good thing. It's like deflection. So, yeah, and, so, and so it's like it's like moving the goalpost, right? And so it's like. It's, yep. Won't change his mind anyway. There's no point. Now he has to. Now Elijah Schaefer actually has to enact labor to find and so it. It's, it and so, he actually has so to. So it's like the same idea of like well, unarmed. Unarmed, black, unarmed, 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 killed by cops, unarmed, killed by cops. But then it's like you show them that that happened like once, right? And and yeah. they're like, well, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway because like you know, cops are an evil, oppressive system, and they have the right to to attack cops anyway. And it's like, dude, why why are you bringing up unarmed? Oh, wait, it's because you want to pull up the heartstrings of dumb bourgeois liberals yeah. in the cities who just read the headline and don't do their due diligence mm -hmm. you, you can keep keep going Jesse, Let me but do I'll, this. I'll, yeah. you got I, i'm black and slow i've had both of you on the fallen state before you guys are speaking too fast for me and uh and i hate, think you're doing great Jesse. but james is coming in the hate report Ugh. have you guys heard of the hake report i have i've, okay. uh, I've yeah. had the pleasure right on he's coming and, in and now he's coming in with some questions for you the hake report is on monday through friday from uh 9 a.m Pacific time. But I want to ask you this, Vosh. Mm -hmm. uh, do you condemn the looters and arsonists? Um, I think that, you know, no, I don't. I think they're oh, a natural oh, product asshole. of social conditions. Did you hear him think about saying no and then say, no, I support it? He, 
he was going to go into a long thing about how he was going to fucking not necessarily. And he goes, you know what? Let me make this concise. No. And he, and he's yeah. Put, yeah. The conditions. We got to fix those conditions. So give us, so, so, so give us money, give us money or we're going to burn your shit again. And so, no, they're still going to burn your shit. If you give them money, they, they've been getting money after burning yeah. shit. So we're teaching them. <laughs> they're going to burn your shit. No matter he what loves. He, I guess he thinks that whatever gated in cul-de-sac that he lives in is not going to be besieged by arsonists. If he keeps doing this, he's far away, buddy. Is he, is he really like, to what degree do you think he's even insulated? Nah, I think he lives in LA. I think he lives in a LA outskirt. But still, uh, eventually, is there going to be a place to fucking run away from this or be insula- meaningfully insulated from it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think <laughs> I think the only way to get to avoid it will be just luck or lefties will die for the ideology. They put the ideology above the people, like any good communist does. Yeah, and they don't really give a clear uh, blueprint as to what society is supposed to do look you, like. After do you they think it. it would? Ch- do you think it would change Vasha's mind if his fucking house got looted? Do you think he would change his mind? I don't know. Pro- I- no, he wouldn't. He would just do a crowdfunding campaign <laughs> to get his fucking shit back. He'd be like, and and he would. And if anything, it would bring him so much fucking press because he ha- would have a way of fucking defending it. No, they're committed. Bailing, out, bail, bailing these people out of out of jail. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we should be paying bail. And, and uh, is it true that you raised eighteen thousand dollars for Black Lives Matter protests? Yeah, I threw two thousand in there myself just to cap it off at twenty thousand. Uh, that what do you uh, say? <laughs> that, why don't you use that to start uh, your own fucking co-op? I remember. Why don't you use that to start your own fucking co-op? Um, I remember this part. I, Elijah Schaefer is about to pull this cringy, like free market bullshit. Well, you know, as long, as long as it happens in the free market, I don't care if we let arsonists the fuck out of jail. Perfect. Just talk over me the entire time for all I fucking care. Hey, I say if you put your money where your mouth is, uh, if your mouth is in the right place, then. Yeah, I, we know, know people are allowed to do that, dude. We know they're allowed to do they that. Work for to do what matters to them. We so. know you where you put your mouth, you fucking fag. And arsonist. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know, the word thugs is the wrong word. These are criminal people. I mean, yeah. and I, I, you know, and you look at them, a lot of these, these pieces, if we, if we can't make a dichotomy and, and, and look at the difference between looters and rioters and protesters, then it's actually kind of racist because the, the protests oh, actually oh, are God. predominantly this move for black lives. And if you say that black people can't make their voice heard without without raising uh, crime rates in cities and destroying their cities. To me, that, that implicates black people on, on a very low level of expectation. And I, I really, I mean, and, and you say they allies can't, too. they I'll can't, no, no, um, just talk over them, dude. The black just talk over them. I can't of civil hear rights. myself. I mean, I really don't believe that. And I, I can't even stand this fucking guy right now. He's such a pathetic fucking limp dicked wanker. Okay. Like, oh my God. So as long as we're bailing, arsonists out of prison via the free market it's fine uh if we implicate bleak looters and arsonists that's racist of racism of low expectations um what else did he say <laughs> I, I, I don't care <laughs> this is- it's th- it's so like everyone all it's everyone already knows that they disagree with like I don't even know who I'd be talking to. Oh, he also said, to he, fucking he, he also said. said this is a legitimate movement for black lives. Like, I think he said that somewhere in there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look at look at Vosh's shirt, the fucking hidden fucking hammer and sickle. Uh, oh, my goodness. They, they love to do the, the subliminal messaging, dude. God, and I think black people are a lot, a lot stronger and better. And I, and I really think if we don't make a separation between this i want to remind you that real protesting doesn't actually we should make a separation less in very bad cases and i i go to protest as a full-time job and, I, and when i walked on crime it's for a number of reasons they right. either uh d- they fail to leave an unlawful assembly they agitate police officers they cross police boundaries they um commit they literally commit acts of violence they loot i don't see people holding signs standing there Stalking, talking on microphones, <laughs> just getting arrested. We I've have, never seen it. So I've literally I've never seen, seen videos of people being pulled out of crowds and arrested just for shit talking to police officers, which is their. I just said agitating right. the police. Well, yeah, and I'm not. Hey, no, whoa, you know whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Not just for shit talking to police officers. Now, if somebody gets in your face and is fucking like invading your space and screaming at you inches from your fucking face, like, 
you have to just wait for them to hit you first. Well, like, I, mean, I don't know, man. You can't invade someone's fucking space. I mean, I, I, I'm of the opinion, and this might be extreme to a lot of people, um, but I, I think BLM, Antifa, feminists, etc., should be like the cop. The cops should just billy club them into submission on sight. Like, that's my opinion because they've demonstrated to themselves to be terrorist elements in this country already. So, I mean, I don't see. But in terms of protest, though, so people are going to say that's a slippery slope. Yeah, no, no, so, like, no. I mean, so, no. like, in terms of, like, screaming at police, like, at what point no. can the police, like, mace you? Like, if they're getting too, like, if you're no, on, no, no. getting too close I mean, to on yeah. sight, I'm saying. So this quibble, oh, he was I on, know. He, they were in, in the cop's face. Should they have been arrested? Yes, because, I, I mean, even before that, I think, I think BLM and Antifa have sufficiently demonstrated that they are terrorist cells in our country that would be like saying oh yeah you know the isis uh protest that's happening downtown we have to wait for them to do no arrest them on site dude i know but there's no way of implementing that that's what well, they that, can that, just that, say they're not with them and shit like that like there's no way of implementing that uh well if they're chanting black lives matter and holding signs that say black lives matter that's pretty solid evidence right but then they can do that to other groups that are political dissonance though there's no other group that is sufficiently and consistently demonstrated that they're violent. Right. But once you say if this political, I don't know, it's, it's, I, I don't think we could actually do that. I mean, the best thing we could do is identify them as domestic terrorists and like, well, then you have to arrest them. You know, I mean, what, what's beating them do? Then, then they're going to get their like fucking victim narrative story. Dude, that's what they do already. That's what they do already. Whenever they get fucking beat up and then it's a fucking victim narrative story, that's literally what you're saying is the whole narrative with police brutality. Anything they do to these people. Well, police brutality. It's a police, police fault. Brutality it's a police's fault. It's a bullshit term, dude. Because We'd have to have a different media for that shit to work, well, though. The way the media is now, that, that it wouldn't no, work. See, no, see, see. What I'm, what I'm simply saying is that if if that were already the milieu, if the cops were actually able to fucking do that, then we'd be able to have all these like live streamers safely show up and live stream the whole thing. Live stream what? Nobody would be protesting. That's <laughs> just so they go there to do that. No, they would live. No, no, they no, wouldn't no, be no, a no, protest. No, they would live stream the cops fucking rounding these fuckers up and throwing them back of a panel van to be disappeared from society, which is what should happen. Yeah, but. Then lawmakers are going to go, but they're already doing that, though. Not as much as you no, would like it, but the reason why they're not doing as much as you would like it is because of how the press does uh, fucking projects it. And then what mayors and fucking senators and governors do once that media hits the fucking airwaves. Well, I mean, I'm talking about an ideal scenario here. Yeah, well, sure. I'm talking about an, I'm talking about yeah. an ideal scenario where if the cops were actually um, given sufficient clearance to do what I think they should be able to do. Uh, we, right. we would have, we would have, we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have to uh, kvetch about corporate media because, because it would be a war no, in the streets, dude. We wouldn't have to kvetch about corporate media lying because we'd already have um, live streamers like Elijah Schaefer, Tim Pool, myself filming them getting rightfully beat down and uh, scooped up in the back of a panel van and disappeared, uh, showing them what, showing people what's happening sufficiently. We are, we would we would already you, have that. You don't think they would they wouldn't just blow up buildings after that? How they're fucking disappeared from society? What? You think just dude? This is like the punch in Nazi defense. Like you think just doing that, and then they're that they're not gonna fucking actually do terrorist plots like, after that. Understand. If that fucking happened you to them. Understand? Like I think I think these people should be executed in Minecraft. Yes, I I, I understand that. Like, okay, so so what do you what do you, that. do you think that we're living in Final Fantasy and we have Phoenix Downs that they can re resurrect people? Like, what do you? We would we would end them. Therefore, how could there be terrorists? You're talking about a genocide. Okay, you're, we just kill all. Fucking terrorists, dude! What are you talking about? I I know, but like this is the okay. So they so we just kill all BLM and, and Antifa. People. At the very least, they should get 15 years per count, which for a lot of them would end up to be like close to life. So, yes, I mean, either way. And then then there wouldn't be anyone to retaliate and commit terrorist plots and fucking blow up police buildings and shit like that with bombs. How would they do it if the cops were actually able to do their jobs? They would. The cops would actually be defanged and they would actually be able to fucking quell the insurrection. 
Again, again, I really again. think it's an oversimplification. I mean, well, th- th- again, this is in a ideal world that is like completely different from the world we're living in right now. So they will die for this ideology, <laughs> which they should. And we, our government should accommodate them, but they're not going to. No, whoa, 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 wait, wait. are you defending wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I didn't. Who... Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, I just said that I just said that the only time I see what happen is when they're agitating. I didn't say legally justified. I'm just saying Talk. I don't ever watch people who are minding their own business get arrested. I do see people get unfairly arrested. If you want to argue if police brutality exists, yes, it does. If you no, want to answer doesn't. the fact that <laughs> police brutality no, it it does just exist, it but it's not, it's not as big, it's not as widespread. Jesse knows you just have to say the exact opposite of what they're saying. I'm telling you, and it affects what do you, what do you call quartering? Races. I'm saying that there are people. Don't, in, don't give it at all. I've been hit by officers. Officers. I've been sprayed in the face and maced by them after Good. showing them my you're my, fucking, my, my journalistic cake. license. Good. I'm saying that to mace a uh, to mace a journalist after telling you I'm a journalist and showing your ID is kind of bizarre. Well, That's all. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's I kind just, of uncalled for. I just want, and I don't disagree with that. I just want to jump in and say there have been a lot of. I mean, we see like literal videos of this happening of of agitation being all that's needed for an arrest, which is obviously a violation of the constitutional rights of the protesters. But also, it's a. Tactic. I'll back you up on that. I, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, also yeah. an unlawful assembly during a, a fucking pandemic to put protesters in positions where they kind of have to be arrested, where police will sandwich people into like narrow blocks where the only <laughs> way for them out is either through. The police or through a narrow alley line. Riot control. Is, right, right. Yeah, yeah, riot control. You literally showed that at Charlottesville when the police were pushing the all, right dudes. all yeah. writers into fucking Antifa. Yeah, yeah, which caused, yeah, which basically caused the further unrest. Uh, but again, that one was because uh, Mayor Steiner, Steiner, um, you know, basically ordered the cops to not do jack shit for the majority of the afternoon. Like, what they yeah, should have yeah. been doing at the bare minimum. I mean, this is like the liberal fucking like, interpretation of what they should have been doing is just standing between the two groups, preventing projectiles and melees and all that stuff from occurring in the first place. But they didn't do that. They just pushed the alt-right dudes into the what Vosh just described uh, into a little narrow block, which caused further chaos and unrest in the streets, which ultimately... As they were saying, give them yeah, to which us. which ultimately resulted in uh, the... Heather Heyer's death because that fucking autistic dude was being attacked and had a gun pointed at him and he freaked out and tried to drive away and uh yeah it was fucked up right yeah, yeah riot control but what the, the purpose of that is to break up riots and to arrest as many people as possible which as far as I'm concerned good. is also a violation of our first amendment it's all well and good to have Are a riot protest Jewish? on paper <laughs> 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 What does that have to do with anything, Jesse? Both of you guys speak fast like my Jewish guests do when I have them on. (laughs) No, I'm not Jewish, Jesse, but I have Jewish family. Hold on a second. Did 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 Hake report feed that question into the mic? Wait, no, he's not wearing a headset. Never mind. No, he gets on later. So did he? (laughs) Did he like whisper that off camera, (laughs) like just loud enough for him to hear it, but not loud enough for us to hear it? Vodka's a lot. The potato no pancakes, idea. they're really good. Maybe I'm like one eighth, you know? You yeah. Watch, all my, Ju- I want to my Jewish this. family's far left. My Jewish family are really, really radical left wing people. So. Hell yeah. My I heard that gross. most Jews are, are far left liberals. Is that true? Like yep. I mean, I would say that's the stigma, but I also could relate that to a lot of Jews are concentrated in New York City and Los Angeles yeah. in the United States, which are inherently just liberal areas. So. Most, um, most, oh I my think God. the Jewish community in America is disproportionately left, which makes sense because culturally they know what it feels like to live under conservative rule. <laughs> um, no, um, they, um, no. no, they, yeah, I think they tend to be no. pretty, pretty left leaning. Most of the Zionists no. in America are actually like uh, Protestants, interestingly enough. There's a really weird like geopolitical when thing. When you raise that mm-hmm. money for this violent protest and riot, that- that's happening, Bosch. <laughs> and are you? Would you be okay if they gave some of that money to the looters and the ones who were stealing and killing and all that as well? Towards their bail funds? Yes, because they'll still be Disgusting. going to trial. Disgusting. Towards like them personally? Disgusting piece now. of shit. What do you say, that, Elijah? <laughs> you know, I can't. I just cannot criticize an individual using their money. <sighs> the way they want to. I, the idea of it is is madness to me, but if I didn't fight for the rights of people to do things that I disagree with, then I don't know what the hell America really would be. Stop. Can I ask a quick oh, question? Stop. Ju- stop. So, Amer- so really? America is about funding terrorism? That That's that's what America is about? America is about funding black nationalist communist takeovers of wide swaths of major American cities. 
that's America question because I'm genuinely curious. It's yes. not a bait, yes. you know, because that's my argument. Like rioting and looting, it's not good. We don't want it. This hurts the Ugh. communities that these people live in. It's not but good, it except he's going to fund like their bail. Product of really bad injustice that isn't right with, or when people that's feel like they're not like getting listened to. So if a community, it's an expression of rage for a really long time, food shortage, I don't know, a famine. Um, and they like I don't know they they went crazy they like break into local like marts or like food trucks passing through the neighborhood not like, a thing hurt, they steal as much food as they can made I up just say, I don't approve of the stealing or the looting or the what yeah, have you do you, stop lying like given the conditions they were placed under I they were can't... placed under in its conditions they yeah. brought the elements <laughs> themselves <laughs> that, you, you stole you stole a GoPro uh, display case I saw a video because <laughs> you were oppressed it's like yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. No, no, like, no, no, I don't know. Loot, the first thing you do is to loot Target when you're oppressed. Loot Gucci because you're oppressed. No, no. Every you're time you're not going to steal a TV if you're hungry. Well, well, I think I looters mean, are just, they, I think that. they're thieves. I mean, I, I don't think well, they price, are thieves. I don't, yeah, I, I, yeah. So I, I don't think, I don't know if those are the people. And I think to conflate the two is sort of an injustice because then it's going, well, there are people out there actually being hijacked by these people, which I, by the way, I want to give you the quote from their website. They mm -hmm. said on blacklivesmatter.com that we disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family. So they're disrupting Western prescribed prescriptions of culture, nuclear family yeah. structure requirement by supporting as, yeah. as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another, especially the children to the degree that the parents or children or mothers are comfortable foster just read the beginning of it dude, network, uh, when we gather we do this with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking or rather the belief that in all the world uh, we are heterosexuals and so you i mean i, I mean I, this what, is the what in there is an of attack anything. what a man oh my god remember how we denied that they even said yes. it remember it, it's not going to change his fucking so, mind right. dude so for, first he and, starts and off Schaefer fucked first up. he starts off yep. by saying that it's not there that they're just milk toast progressives which that's an oxymoron and now he's saying, "Oh yeah, what's wrong with that? That's a good." He's gonna go, "Oh yeah, that's a good thing." Oh yeah. Where 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 Elijah uh, Elijah Schaefer fucked up is by reading the rest of it. He gave him things that were less dubious. All like, of that, no, obviously, all of that is dubious. Hold no, 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 no. Let me explain to you how this fucking works. So what Elijah Schaefer should have done is just read what he talked about. Now all the other stuff he was fucking talking about is just gonna let Vosh agree with that stuff, and then it doesn't. His point is gone because Vosh is just going to agree with that other stuff as opposed to sticking to what he was wrong about. That's why it's a fucking deflection. He denied that it was on there. He denied that it was on there. And then he's just going to agree with the other shit that he's fucking saying. The point of Elijah Schaefer reading that is to prove to him that they want to destroy the uh, nuclear family. That's the point of that. Now it gives Vosh an opportunity to fucking deflect and never have to address that he was fucking wrong. He said, wait, that, that, that's what I'm saying. You gotta nail these lefties to a fucking cross, and you don't want to say more. It's almost like talking yourself out of pussy. <laughs> you had him. You had him. Then you kept I mean, talking. Families. I think the family. I, I think ultimately the biggest problem the black community has is the, the seventy-seven percent and rising fatherlessness yes. rate in the community. Because I, I, I used to work for inner-city schools, you know, and I was a part of. Uh, I'm not gonna say the organization because I don't want to implicate them, but a very liberal organization. We're not gonna talk about how Vosh didn't when, even when fucking know that about Black Lives Matter. Did he support them? We're not gonna do that at all. Two factors were were large determinants in the uh, the uh, performance of a student and one of those was just IQ um, which is interesting Ooh, and people edgy. from the alt right to the alt left people have you know their arguments about you know how IQ is so important or not but ultimately well, just to clarify I, I, it is I'm important saying, but it's yeah, no, I'm, downstream I know, but of I'm, other factors right yeah. right well that's what I'm bringing up but one of the main one of the more interesting factors that, that they brought up was that you know especially when a young boy doesn't have a father in the home it can large it can it, negatively i don't want to say how high because I don't have the studies in front of me but it can greatly impact their development and their iq and so i don't believe in people who make these you know just race based iq and just generalizations about people and these people some of them are true i mean uh, these Nazi jews are smarter than all of us who knows but uh, uh, i mean that's just what people are well, his, fun, his funders all like people. hearing that right, right, um right, but just, yeah what is, what is the fatherlessness rate amongst whites isn't it sort of like 20, 25%. Okay, so, I mean, it's only roughly, like, what? A, it's increased. So, it's, like, a, roughly a third of what Blake's are, but are white people committing, like, a third of the crime? I mean, come on. I, I think that this is yet another example of conservatives putting, and, and leftists putting the cart before the horse. Well, the, the leftists will deny that this is, 
or, or downplay or deflect and change the subject from this or blame it on other things that are unrelated. But the conservatives will put the cart before the horse and act as if the fatherlessness is what's a cause or the Democrats or the Democratic plantation, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's their Blakeosity that leftists positive. have Stockholm syndrome with black people. <laughs> huh? It's the Blakeosity that contributes the, to the fatherlessness, not the fatherlessness contributing to the Blakeosity. They have Stockholm syndrome with their with, with the fucking black community because, like, no matter what the end result is, they have to justify it. Oh, here's why he beats me. It's because he loves me. Here's <laughs> they they constantly justifying the abuse like someone with fucking Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. But I'm just bringing this down, you know, so when you look at real systemic racism and you talk uh, about this idea of, of, of there's a system that somehow is causing fathers to not stick around and kids not to be born into wedded relationships. And that can be a huge and ge- generationally think about that. If one kid doesn't have a father, then he doesn't his kid doesn't have no, a father. I, I don't disagree. I mean, I don't know so again, effect, stop. Yeah, I mean, I one, kid, stop. So yeah. he just basically did what I was talking about. Like, yeah, Dems are the real systemic racists. The, you know, the fatherlessness rate in the hood brought upon by the welfare state and the Democrats. Democratic plantation. That's what he's implying right there. That Dems Dems yeah. are the real systemic racists. Inner city inner city Democrats are the real systemic racists. That's what he's. That's the line that he's basically uh, feeding to the audience right now. They did a way better job holding back black people than the KKK could have ever fucking dreamed of, dude. Uh, yeah. Again, they're they're exacerbating the problem ever so slightly and and. Pe- and pandering, they're pandering and using it for political gain but dude they're always like that how how far into the video are we like straight up halfway jesus <laughs> fuck christ dude. oh my god all right here one we go parent household is 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 like unviable like in this country like it just doesn't work having a one parent household it's not right, sufficient but, I'm just saying that, like... but that's a system to me is like going that's that's weird to me. Like when I hear that it's 77%, I'm, I'm telling you, I have to always check the percentage all regularly because I, I don't believe it. And I have to find, oh, I'm always yeah, looking for new is. studies and new things. So I'm going, there's got, it's gotta be a lie. And I, and I look for, I look for, for variations. Like, Oh, that one's no, 72%. It's, it's, I'm going, shoot. It's true, but we can fix that Shucks. if we How? stop. Well, first of they, all, the disproportionate. You can't fix it. They need to fix it. You can't the, fix well, it. we can all fix it together, no, and can't. I agree. Everyone is responsible. Everyone's we can all fix it together. No, because they the are. And city true. and precinct policies but do affect know. a lot of the economic conditions that go Who into this. Who is responsible for you, Vash? Um, I mean, who's my responsible for my actions? Who is or? responsible for you? Me? And your actions. Wait, can I clarify something? How about your actions? Clarify. Myself. So why are blacks need special attention? If if we want to fix problems, we have to recognize that one of the vehicles through which we can do this is legislation. Vehicles. We can't just like tell why people to be better. They've already been legislation. given the legislation. How come they can't Everyone take does. Care of themselves? Oh, let me ask what? you this, Vosh. Do blacks have lower IQs than normal people or higher? <laughs> what is a normal? Normal. Person? White people. <laughs> Why are whites normal? There are less white people on earth than black people. Do blacks have lower IQ than whites or higher? Uh, they would be lower. Why and, do you think that is? Uh, because they're dummies. You just think they're dumber, Jim? <laughs> yeah, because they, look at how they act. And that's what a really do. sad way to think of yourself, So Jesse. let me ask you this. Would you ever Who kneel down you? to black people and apologize? I would. For for what? If they, because the moment you disagree with their advice, you're going to have to kneel. Would you kneel down to the? I disagree with black people. I literally just two weeks Would ago got in massive down. trouble in the black community for arguing with some of their members. No, I don't. I don't apologize for any of my. Would I'd love to see that. The blacks? No, I'd love to you, see that. Uh, Elijah, would you kneel to the blacks? Who? Why? I, I don't. It's a very I weird nothing, place to take this conversation. Well, well is this you know, but, because they're making this the whites just, and then officers and everybody kneel. Would you they're kneel? Not making, I would tell you this. They're, they're not making because this is a this is a key factor. Yeah, no, no, like, no, making. Get on your knee. But, but you only you, you only do it by your I choice unless they're literally happening. unless you. Yeah, well, I've watched them really guilt people, and I think it's just people don't ascertain the, what's really going on, and they're they're kneeling, realizing you don't owe anything to the black community in terms of having to bow down or get on a knee if yeah, as if you it means get anything. In fact, in America, you damn well don't really have to do much of anything if anyone asks you. I'm not uh, advocating yeah, for so, people. No, no, not you. you. Yeah, yeah, okay. you, you I just, I'm not saying you. Hey, I'm saying, I, I just want to say people don't. Hey, this, hey, 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 hey. Elijah, would you kneel, get on your knees for Black Lives Matter? Can I say it in Spanish? Yeah, see. Sí. No. 
Uh, how about you, Vaj? Oh, good one, dude. Oh, for Black Lives Matter, yes or I've no? Got, I've got bad knees, no. Oh, good. You got bad knees. That's so good. <laughs> I have bad knees. I actually have bad knees, too. And Look, uh, listen, yeah. this, is, wait, wait, this isn't a race thing. It's not about making white or black people pay for each other's sins. It's a fact. Yes, it is. They're demanding reparations. The, the, the um, average level of criminality, the average level of, um, of like marriage stability, that kind of stuff, in white neighborhoods that have been affected by severe socioeconomic changes over the past 80 years will see that increases in positive policy lead to individuals in those areas making better decisions. I got to do this. It, wait, wait, it is a fact of the matter. Hold on a second. We've, uh, yeah. we've already established that in similarly impoverished white demographics, they're still not doing the same shit at anywhere near the same rate. That, that's right. Exactly. That's I, I, like why even, why there, even shock it up to way, why even shock it up to socioeconomic it's in, in this milieu. That's not what it is. It's a culture that they were well, be, because that's where they do all their fucking best work. And it's a multitude of factors. And that's when they can fucking pontificate. But there's way more poor white people in the country with none of those areas being nearly as bad as the black areas. Right, I, way more opportunity for them to have one shining example. I think Phoenix, Arizona, but there's a lot of Hispanics there. So like and they get lumped into white people. So like I am having trouble finding one fucking white area. Yeah, I mean, you know, I growing up in Waukesha, there's like some working class like grungy gritty like lower middle class white populations and they're not fucking offing each other like crazy dude like there's like maybe maybe one shooting a year in the whole city maybe you know right where's all these like dangerous white areas socioeconomic in this in the in the south there's like fucking I don't know, but they're like, they're more rural, I guess. Well, the, what they would say is like cities, there's more black people in cities, but there's got, there's got to be white cities. I mean, Oklahoma City got to be pretty fucking white. Oh, Timothy McVeigh. Oh, checkmate. Huh? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why I love that AIU has the Dylan Roof shirt. But Dylan Roof. But Dylan Roof was treated to Burger King. But yeah, the very final protest that I went to in Menominee Falls where... Um, TMG or uh, WISN did a hit piece on me. They fucking hit me with that narrative. Like, dude, he went quietly. What the fuck, man? People make predictable decisions based on the environments they're placed in. Everything that I am came in large part because I was born in a wealthy neighborhood. So, I am lucky. I was born into a poor family. I'm just gonna say that. I, I was surround. I lived next to a gang. Uh, we qualified for food stamps. I'm just gonna point this out there. I don't care. All of the kids make significantly more well at least not my little sister yet but they make significantly more uh than than my my parents do because my mom taught me early on about like taught us all about being entrepreneurs and she homeschooled us and they really invested in us and that's i think that right. that's where i say i said that the family is really important not the money even because we didn't have money i, I mean really we really didn't have money um and I, I mean my mom we didn't even have money for buns and she would Cut up hot dogs, and she would tell us they were Costco free. Yeah, I agree. The family so we believe her. Hey, uh, Elijah, I saw your mother yeah. in the welfare line with me one day getting yellow <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> Swing and a miss, Jesse. Listen, <laughs> no way. He's alpha, family man. is important. We know for a fact <laughs> you, that I the strength of families in certain uh, neighborhoods uh, tracks with other you support conditions. Support a movement in those that wants to so dismantle all of those conditions can be affected by policy, but some can't. Yeah, but I don't I agree with that part. I can Whatever, I'll just omit that part. Bosh, I gotta ask. I was born on a plantation. Same, Jesse. Grew up under Jim Crow laws. Down in Alabama, our toilet was outside. I had to pick cotton. I had to hoe. Not with a hoe, but I hoed. And I had to do all that. I'm doing very well in life. Why is it that I am able to succeed, but the blacks who were born after the civil rights movement are complaining and whining? Is that due to their low IQ, Bosh? Well, yes. you're, you're also a single parent household, right? You don't have a wife right now, so maybe that's but, the outcome of, of all those years of this privilege. <laughs> Most of them don't have wives or husbands either. No, well, that's my argument. Having bad early outcomes means you might not be able to keep the uh, marriage partner down the line. So I, is it because blacks have low IQ? N absolutely not, no. You do agree that yes. their IQ are lower than the normal people? Yeah, yes. and the height of North Koreans is lower than the height of South Koreans. Is that Amazing. genetics or is it environmental? So let me Deflection. Really Amazing. Fast, I got to bring Hank on because he want to ask you guys a few questions. I know you've been on his show, Vosh. But Elijah, you have not yet, but you will. Oh, you going on this show? So <laughs> I, I get—I kind of get left out of the YouTube community because 
<clears throat> I don't like this is not like a, a comparison, this or that, but I kind of just broadcast and work on podcasting and, and such and, you know, grow downloads and away from the actual issues, on, like I guess other other broadcast shows. I love the YouTube community. I love I miss what it used to be. Oh, my when God. It used to be where, where we would keep each other in check, like when I first started and people wanted to debate and talk. But now, unfortunately, that was really beneficial to channels because. Uh, like the algorithms worked if I had Vosh on my channel, then my video would get picked up in his algorithms right. and our audiences would get, but now it's like, it doesn't, you, you have anybody on, I can even have a, a vice president on. I know someone who did and the video got 20,000 views. So it's like, it doesn't matter. It <laughs> I, doesn't just stick, I just stick to sucks. appealing to the, the, on, the radical left me... trans Antifa crowd. Here's, <laughs> here's, James, here's James hate of a hate report. He has Let's some do it. questions for you guys. The hakester. Hey guys. <clears throat> Howdy. Hello, hate report. Down lower. So I have three questions for you. One, wow. um, President Trump has wanted to deal with the social media censorship of, you know, of free speech. And I know that both of you guys really believe in free speech. Is that right? Ab absolutely. Are you guys going to work with Trump to promote free speech? No, he doesn't. Over Twitter and YouTube and all these people? Trump's proposed legislation would destroy free speech. He would be the, it would be the greatest blow against free speech in the history of this country. So I will be which working is what? against him in every conceivable way a YouTuber can, which is to say I'll be making videos on it and okay. complaining. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the White House reached he's out. He's not going to list what the legislation the is. about this. I've talked to them. Fire, uh, baby. You know, the White House yeah. obviously gives credits probably more to right-wing YouTubers than, than Vosh. I'm sure they're not asking. The White House isn't reaching out to him to not comment on, on the way that, that he's being affected. You know, I think that it's just important legislation wise, not because Google already supports him uh, per se. I think executive oh, well, they never admit that. And I'm, I'm very weary of them. Even here's when... here's what the lefties say. They're like, yeah, well, the corporations are just doing it to fit in. It doesn't matter why they're <laughs> that's their like rationalization every time. Uh, who gives a fuck, man? You're just letting your stupid like ma small government bullshit get in the way of what's right. How I mean, dare you? Right how dare be... you act like he has a true conviction? I can't believe you just said that about him. How dare you claim that he actually believes in something? It has an it's, actual well, stance. Yeah, but but it's a stupid belief. That, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a stupid belief. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a stupid belief that is not really real. You know what I mean? It's it's a it's a fake and gay dialectic where oh, small government good, big government bad, socialism bad, capitalism good, socialism left wing, capitalism right wing. Like you you know what I mean? All I always that really I, yeah. Well that, that that's why I've said this before too. Where it's like you know there, I there's no way to say it without sounding condescending. Like they're in first grade. It's like you have to start. <laughs> so like it's like yeah. yes, that's like. That's like addition when you're trying to talk about something that involves like geometry, something that goes like deeper so than that. They're, they're on. They're basically engaging in the debate equivalent of first graders playing on the playground, whipping wood chips at each other. All right, today we have a debate. What's a better color, red or blue? You go. Go ahead, yeah, kindergartners. Right. <laughs> right, and it's yeah. I mean, or fashioning the little wood chip into a gun. And at, at the very, at the very then, least, like, at the very least, Vosh is like, here's why I like blue. And fucking Elijah Schaefer's like, well, purple's a good color too because it's kind of in between. So it, it hurts to like respect <laughs> Vosh more than Elijah Schaefer, doesn't it? To respect him more than anybody, especially when they're supposed to be on two different yeah. sides. I think he's going for the Trump thing where like he'll just own all of his shit so people have to respect him. And that's, that's, sure. that, 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 that's how he keeps fucking, you know, portraying himself differently depending on what the fucking uh, platform is. But, you know, well, it, it, when you look in the comments, you know, well, I, I respect Vosh. Like, you know, he fucking st stands in it. Yeah, but his beliefs are horrific and dubious yeah. <laughs> and malicious. Yeah, but he stands and lie. For I mean, dishonest, yeah. And he, he and he didn't, I don't think he's going to get into what, he's, he mentioned that Trump has done anti-free speech, yada, yada, hobo, what's it's, but he didn't actually... Is he going to go to voter article. suppression? Oh, this didn't happen back then, but, like, that's what they would say now. Voter suppression and the fucking USPS uh, not being funded as much as they want it to be. I can't follow the news anymore, dude. <laughs> right. My brain physically can't fucking care about it. Well, anyway, yeah. All right, let's try and pound some ass through this. Trump uses them. 
But I, I think that uh, the when the legislature could come together and define more properly uh, the difference between platforms and different businesses. That's and a fair point. Whether, whether one day, and I don't know this, and I'm not, I'm not. This would be my far. This is my far left side speaking. Every time mind, is uh, you know, if, they, if they end up becoming uh, you know, utilities. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen in the future and how vital things are going to become. Every That's time he makes a good point. Times of crisis, you know, he the backs off expand, and it makes me power. and your fucking side. That's very normal. And right now, there's not mm. very much difference between establishment Republican and Democrats so I could I could see this going one of many directions because I think the queer community right the LGBT gets censored probably as much as political people so. on TikTok oh, ugly people oh, get their channels God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. An LGBT person hold up stop you can Dude, you he, can't dead name a trans LGBT. person he, he is a LGBT creator any isn't he but anyway um we should be treating social media like the phone company or like the water bill or whatever because you shouldn't be able to ban someone for their fucking political beliefs that's fucking horse shit well yeah do you know the argument between platform and um platform publisher and publisher yeah so i mean they want the protections of being a platform with the privileges of being a publisher right yeah so, they I want mean, to they don't want to have that they don't want they want to be able to kick anyone the fuck they want off for any reason but they also don't want any responsibility for what for the narratives that are pushed out it's really sleazy and so that yeah. benefits scuzzbags like vosh and uh morons like elijah schaefer are really not gonna i mean they're too spineless to really stick up for anything that's of substance and he knows that he's you know he's he's just slightly offensive enough that he can not get banned himself so he probably you know he's not the one that's getting banned um well yeah but dude he's 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 the way that he's offensive is the way that me and you were offensive like six years ago when we started talking back to lefties like to be offensive is to just mm -hmm. simply disagree with him like that's how he's slightly offensive yeah, that's like congratulations to be dude, you're just disagreeing with lefties. to be offensive well, to be offensive is just to be standing at a protest, passively filming them attacking someone. Right, exactly. That's being slightly offensive. Exactly. That's but being slightly offensive. Being slightly offensive is attempting to record yourself being assaulted by one of these fucking idiots. And then, dude, the, the, <laughs> the, the longer, like, you can see, like, the evolution of you going to these things and how after a while you're just fucking <laughs> telling them exactly what you fucking think about them. It took years years of like dude i years of seeing the same thing over and over again to the point where you were like all right i already know you as a person i'm done being open-minded this is who you are as a person and i'm fucking certain of it <laughs> yeah like i love seeing that evolution being, of your content being like a vaguely bernie bro or whatever god damn it i can't believe i was because you want to be polite but... and open-minded and it's like here, here's the here's the misconception with being open-minded that i learned after being I wasn't even that much of a lefty. I've never been that political. But getting away from that fucking crowd, disbanding from my old friends and shit like that because it was fucking, I couldn't handle it. But, like, the concept of being open-minded doesn't mean that you consider every possibility. Like, I can still be open-minded mm. and go, that's bad, not that. Like, they want this right. grandiose vision of open-mindedness where you have to say yes to everything. That's not being mm -hmm. open-minded. That just means you're manipulated. Like, that's what someone does in a cult where they have to say yes to everything. Don't you want to be open-minded? And it's the, and, But, but like, I, I'm, I don't know. I consider myself a really open-minded person, but trans people are fucking disgusting. <laughs> like, I'm open-minded, oh but they're fucking gross. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to get kicked off the platform. <laughs> Oh, God, it's true. And they de and they throttle down the ugly people. But I know people that go on TikTok just to watch ugly people because it's like a circus. Yeah, but that sucks. That like, how am I going to get a TikTok started? You know, where I'm, being I'm, I'm being bad at all the market. Yeah, I was going to say actually, <laughs> that's really good too. I was, that's why I go for the for the audio downloads on my show. I'm trying to grow them because I feel like people watching me. It's like I wouldn't watch me either. <laughs> All right, are I'm you back. are you for Vosh? Are you for them being a a, um, <sighs> a utility? Um, <clears throat> the social media company. No way. Oh, this is such a complicated issue. Let me think. Okay. No. <laughs> on one on one hand, I do think it is untenable that at this moment public advocacy is limited behind the rules of private corporations. Um, okay. I, I do think that is an issue. It, the idea, like right now, the public commons means nothing. If you get banned off Twitter, YouTube. Facebook, TikTok. If you got ban banned off everything, you have no voice. It's done. You can't do anything anymore. So okay, okay, okay. that's an issue. 
at the same time, yep. I Muffins. am concerned that the move to a utility would enable certain groups of people to manipulate discourse in a way that might not be favorable to the health of this country's inhabitants. Fuck you, <laughs> I think it's, it's an almost impossible subject for me to discuss. I would need like oh, a lot of brain. Stop. Um, I think. See, he always starts because it benefits him. He always starts with affirming right the opposition. Now. His whole point to be on here is to affirm the opposition. So whatever the opposition's going to say, he completely affirms it. And then he goes into his shit. And the reason why that's impactful and works is because the last idea you hear is his little fucking seed he's trying to plant. In the beginning, he's like, yeah, well, you know, it's unfair. Like, he got you agreeing with it, right? And then to the mm -hmm. to the untrained ear, to a fucking, uh, just a politically neutral person that's just watching for to watch a good old fashioned fucking conversation where they're not yelling at each other mm -hmm. he ends with that little seed he's planting a nice vague seed that me and you know what he fucking means he means yeah he means that dude, he, he, mean, he means dude, he means that he really wants susan wojcicki who agrees with him to be able to kick off all the mean old neon nazis and well how do we define that well i mean you know someone who wants a border someone who doesn't want uh somalians coming in and raping and killing karens um at will someone who wants to be able to keep their gun someone who opposes big tech censorship yeah those are me ma neon nazis any anyone who's on bit shoot library telegram you know that that's he he wants it to to stay to where none of these people can be on the platform and monetize their videos uh make middle class careers out of debunking Vosh's narratives um, that's the danger that he sees in treating it like the phone company. I want to make a chart that looks really official that shows the amount of people that Joseph Stalin, like, directly and indirectly killed, and then a way higher number of people that fucking Vosh has accused of being a Nazi. He accuses <laughs> so, so many... Dude, to the point where he's like, they're Nazi-ish. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, oh, it's kind of Nazi-ish. Nazi, -ish. Na Nazi Nazis, yeah. Ugh. Change is needed. I just don't know which direction, to be honest. Do you want them to be a utility, Elijah? Uh, you know, this is where the left and the right actually start to meet up pretty closely because yeah, this is where it gets, meet up, gets difficult you? to know. I mean, it, it's like I'm really fucking gay and day. stupid. Um, uh, you know, it's like, well, I mean, we need the railroads for trade. And if someone just owns all the railroads, keeps spiking the prices, it kind of ruins the ability for people to trade. Wow. But then there's always the argument of like, yeah, but just if it's going to you know, collapse, it'll collapse and it'll restart itself, like the libertarians would say. So I, I think I fall somewhere a little bit more towards a centrist on this one where – I don't think oh, enough time has gone ass. by to know what to do. And I think it's fair if commentators sometimes would just shut the What do you think he rides harder? A dick or a fence? <laughs> would just shut the hell up and say, <laughs> I don't think we know that yet. Um, it's really and dildo oh, can I actually say fence. one thing? I think the smartest <laughs> enlightened centrist answer right now would be to do what uh, we've done with metropolitan companies, which is to say that we should define these these internet companies that allow for social media in a very strict and stringent way that allows for much tighter regulations um, so they aren't as uh, 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 um, monolithic in their discourse, you know, um, control. Real quick with his social oh libertarian God. fucking philosophy. What, what, what was that? Like, what was that answer? I mean, like, so what was that? So they're going to have to be, like, regulated. But, like, okay, well, Vosh, what if you're in your social libertarian society, everyone just votes for one political fucking side? Like, <laughs> wouldn't... Who would determine that regulation in Vosh's fucking fantasy society? Wouldn't, the, wouldn't everyone in... The reason why they think their shit's going to work out is because they all pretty much agree with each other. Like, in Dude, our society, we're all going to agree and vote for, like, the same shit. Like, he, he just knows that fucking right-wing content has way better rhetoric and has way more empiricism on its side. And he's afraid that if it's actually allowed to be truly meritocratic and people can't get kicked off because they're ma racist or because, you know, The Guardian wrote a hit piece on them, he knows that if that's taken away, that they will lose and that's they won't necessarily what, yeah. they won't necessarily like lose i mean all of their livelihood or anything but their livelihood might be diminished or, 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 or at least like the um building up or the increase of their livelihood will be diminished and their dis their 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 uh messaging won't reach as far right you know
But the best word you used there was empiricism, because all leftist rhetoric is fucking theoretical and intangible. That's why I love asking them, like, yeah. dude, who the fuck is stopping you from making Lies. a fucking co-op, dude? Go, there's already co-ops under a capitalist society. Go make co-ops, and if co-ops r- work really well, fuck me, I'll work for one. Cool, if it's a good idea. No, well, I don't want it to stand for the test of scrutiny, and we should make it. We should force everyone to do it. Yeah, re- really realistic idea you have there. The only way we can do my idea is if we oh, everyone does it. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't submit it to the free market of fucking ideas. It's always intangible. That's why when you said empiricism, it's like, yeah, the right likes to do what's fucking done pretty well, and they'll make alterations to it. Like, okay. Dude, Vosh, Vosh wants a monolithic platform where he could just pithy, be all pithy and sarcastic. Oh, oh yeah, 1350. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's, there's another guy saying 1350 rather than him pithy, you know, in a, in a pithy fashion. It's like, oh, 1350, and then someone coming on and being like, yeah, 1350, and here are the following like stacks of charts that prove that correct. But he has he more want studies. That to be the he case. has more studies. He has socioeconomic studies. He has the fucking. It's hard for them to get a job with the resume study. He has their sentence longer in fucking prison study. And then he, he has then a whole bunch of gallops, non-representative. Gish gallops a bunch right. of fucking studies and breezes over all of them, and then tells you that it's 100 percent consensus from sociologists. And that's his fucking argument. And I don't know how no one no, actually yeah, pokes, pokes around that. That's why I love talking uh, no, to his have, supporters. He'll, he'll, have, he'll have some non-representative horse shit, and he'll just basically make the wage gap argument on every single fucking issue, right? Uh, yeah, that's all you and can in, really And, you know, he's, he's afraid of treating it like, like uh, the water company. Like, you can't get your water shut off because you're racist. He doesn't, he doesn't want that to be on YouTube. I reiterate because then they will not necessarily like, again, they're not necessarily going to lose, lose in in terms of they're not going to make money or anything, but they're not going to be able to control the narrative and they're not going to be able to influence elections the way the right did in 2016. Well, that's the thing too, is that Vosh doesn't really have to have an opinion on it because he's winning right now. Now his rebuttal would be, Oh, well dude, I got banned from Twitch and it's like, you you said that you want Israel bombed off the map. Like, that's, like, <laughs> well, you know, like there's only so many things you can say, dude. And it's, a, and it's Twitch. It's fucking weeb Island. It's fucking, it's rated X PG 13 <laughs> is the best way I could fucking say it. It's like, it's like, it's, X it's like sorry. In... Well, it's, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, they, they're, they're, they, ah, I just hate the Twitch community. It's, it's spicy oh, it's, it's, memes and just it's, it's, chatting and they think they're fucking so edgy and shit like that. So it's rated X as in like uh tranny hormone altered titties, but PG 13 in, ter- in terms of don't use pronouns or slurs yeah. that offend me. I'm glad you, okay, de- I'm it. glad you decoded that because I don't know if other people would have. <laughs> That's always how it feels to me though. Like so much egregious, disgusting fucking stuff can be on there. Stuff that fucking repulses me. And then to me, like a benign joke will get someone banned. I'm like, I, I don't know. The, I have a different barometer uh, than Twitch does. They got feet on there? <laughs> All right, let's fucking continue forward. Um, control, as they are now. Maybe that could be like a temporary answer. Speaking of centrism, um, Jesse Lee Peterson founded a centrist group in the prior, in the, uh, prior interview. A centrist <laughs> organization called White Lives Matter. Are you guys going to join <laughs> White Lives Matter? You. I, th- I love all people. I think White Lives Matter too. I will. Right on. I don't need to Will tell. I don't need to prove that. I don't need to know. Well, White Lives Matter. Um, you sound I, exactly I won't like join, but I think it's fair to promote it. I, I don't need to, anyone to accept me and tell me I matter. I, I matter. So, but what about main... the other whites? Some of the other whites don't. They don't feel yeah. like they matter. They're so getting arrested for being white or Go ahead. Are Elijah. they going to join? I, uh, I, you no, know are you going to join? Get, <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to join White Bosch? Lives. I'm not matter, standing no. up for the whites. So no, no, here here's my main curiosity <laughs> though. Like, <laughs> you, do you guys remember the straight pride parade? Oh, yeah, I was there. Jesse was there. Yeah, yeah that was actually organized and yes. largely um, signal boosted by neo Nazis. Oh my god! I just fucking made fun of them for this. I got a call. Is he about to say it? from the guy that fucking put it on, and I was going to go, but it was kind of gay. I I talked to <laughs> the fucking straight. dude. They are just milk toast fucking center right conservatives dude 
They are yeah. just regular fucking dudes. And that's all he has to say is neo-Nazis. We just fucking tra- I just fucking said that, dude. And here he is. Now, I'm- Now, I know Jesse, straight- to, whoa, 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 hold on. There I know straight people. Well, uh, I mean- One, uh, one in I, Modesto, California, and one in the East Coast, I guess. I Boston. think it was the California one. I, I would need. I, I, didn't I covered the. Know there were two. I covered the. Bo the, the Boston. I one love that. Was the one that had like. Ten. He didn't actually know there was two. Like it was put on by a neo-Nazi. <laughs> How many was there? Hey, I support Black Lives Matter. They have a website. Every fucking time with yeah. these lefties, dude. They have such probably, a passionate yeah. opinion they can't fucking back up. Yeah, they don't even know of the Marxist tenets of Black Lives Matter, or they deny it. But when you show them, they're like, oh yeah, cool, awesome. He so confidently says it was put on by neo-nazis which one the one in california or on the east coast oh there was two. Oh, i think it was the california one like all of a sudden the immediate fucking backpedal when they didn't even know there was fucking two of them i don't know if they're both neo-nazis but the one in california is put on by neo-nazis oh my god it's the up talking it's the up talking literally you know showing that they don't actually have confidence in what they're saying because they know it's a lie in the Whoa. back of their mind only when he's contested the immediate backpedal. Oh, uh, maybe I should do some more research, but I'm pretty sure they're Nazis. Like, that's what that's what that would result as. If he was having a debate with somebody, he would just backpedal to, well, I'm pretty sure it's Nazis. I'll have to, like, double check, but as long as he puts out that it's Nazis, that's all he has to fucking do. Get those words out there. Just so fucking weird. It's like, so any... They would, they would probably tell you, like, oh, yeah, anyone who doesn't like the transgender agenda is a neo-Nazi, where, you know, meanwhile, the transgender agenda straight up didn't exist 12 years ago so i guess does that make everyone a neo-nazi 12 years ago like every last person hey they're really inclusive dude they they expand the words racist and neo-nazi to include so many people that disagree with them it's, it's really is it, they really are very inclusive with how fucking uh cavernous dude, and wide i, I they maintain definitions i maintain dude not a single fucking person like statistically speaking was transgender Eight to twelve years ago. Well, they like, weren't allowed I, uh, to come out. All right, now they're allowed. Out, yeah, now, right, now, right. Now, they're, now they're allowed. To. <laughs> now they're being emboldened by every single hashtag campaign, every single corporation, every sports team, every Hollywood uh, producer, actor, director, every pundit. Right? Yeah. People who support uh, Black Lives Matter, people who support the left, a lot of them think that they are in possession of radical political opinions. This has been said a thousand times. How, how radical is your opinion when the cops and the National Guard are kneeling and doing the Macarena, dancing with protesters, and every major corporation has put out a message and donated money to this cause? How much, how, how radical are your opinions really? The people who are spray painting, uh, cop cars and um, burning cop cars and smashing windows and whatnot. How radical are your your opinions really when this this um, these actions are allowed to take place? Because it's not the, it's not the case that uh, it's a it's a tactical decision. It's not like it's not like the cops and the National Guard couldn't crack down on this if they did, if they wanted to. It's that it's being allowed to happen. And if you if you think otherwise, you're a fool. People like Vosh probably think that you know the straight pride parade organizer since they're like edge lord like 2015 anti sjw wrecked milk toast whatever conservatives that that equals nazis right because they're because because they probably question the trans agenda they question the blm agenda etc no. etc no 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 see he's already throwing you off the scent now you're okay. doing the work of why they might be nazis nope whenever he calls someone a nazi i just go nope they could have a SWAT sticker on their arm. I just go, no. But they have a SWAT sticker <laughs> on their arm. Yeah, I know, but you fucking said it, so it's not true. That's how dedicated right. I am to 100. I don't, they're not. No, no, no. Don't do the work for him and try and think of why. No, he doesn't know why. He doesn't even know there was fucking two across the country. Right. He thought there right, was one. Right, he don't right. fucking know why. He just callously throws it out, and everyone gets to fill it in in their own fucking brains as long as he throws the fucking buzzword out there. Let's try and hammer fist through this fucking thing.
ten thousand. It was okay. crazy. I covered it. I Hammer created like massive face. video coverage of that one. That was crazy. Nice. The point, the, the point that I'm trying to get at is that I know plenty of straight folk. You know, I don't have an issue with them. It seems wow. like though, when the Straight Lives okay. Matter thing got announced, a lot of really far right groups got really, really excited because they used it as a platform Which ones? to advocate Such for as? views that have nothing to do with straight people. And that's what I'd be worried about. White Lives Matter. Oh, because Black Lives Matter is all about black people and not about the yeah. LGBTQ agenda, right, yeah. Bosh? You fucking faggot. Right. Yeah, dude. Yeah, fucking BLM is all about intersectionality, critical gender and race theory, Marxism, fuck whitey. It's about, like, gives me this and that and the other. It's about... Dude, abortion. that wasn't even a psychological projection. That was, like, an astral projection. That was, like, an ethereal projection. He <laughs> just fucking projected so hard. <laughs> Holy fucking yeah. shit. Really, dude? You guys don't do that at all? With your little fucking get-togethers? Oh, a thousand of you are just are just there for police brutality, huh? No other causes? Yeah, fucking right, dude. You talk to- you get a different fucking answer from each person, yet somehow the same answer. Isn't that funny? N none of them have the dude, same way yeah. of defending it, but it's it comes out a little different, but the same at the same time. I mean, obviously, dude, the straight pride parade was a way to fucking- that, that was like the last attempt at, like, trolling the libs and, you know, like, re hashtag wreck- wrecked the libs it right? was just like, to see them re uh, it was just to see them fucking yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that 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 was probably the end of like the re era or like what i like to call like the cope tube era right. like that yeah that part of that, that that part of youtube creation where we all thought we were winning they own the streets sort of... now though and none of it's fun anymore yeah. that's a good point it's it's a it's a new era of fucking protest you right can't now, yeah you, you you can't you can't safely just stand there with your GoPro or your cell phone cam and just re at them and troll them and make funny content and making them look stupid and waking people up like you can't really do that as easily now because it's super fucking physically dangerous. But he's whinging about the fucking straight pride parade bringing in like dangerous far right Lowest people. Attendance. Like, do you think he's, he's gonna? Attendance. Is, is he gonna? Is he gonna name any of these groups? I wonder. No. No, and the funny thing is, in Boston, it's weird. The fucking imaginary Nazis are always outnumbered uh, a fucking thousand to zero because there's no fucking Nazis. But there's always such an overwhelming presence of, like, Antifa and leftists and shit like that and women that have five-year-old children with them that say fucking, what do they say? Nasty woman or something like that. I'm nasty or something like that. Little five-year-olds got shirts oh, on to fucking say that. You're reminding me of that time when uh, there was like a Green Party rally with like 12 people, and for some reason it got out to lefty media, lefty corporate media, that it was a neo Nazi rally, and then 20,000 frothing at the mouth leftists showed up and that were completely impossible to reason with. That was, I mean, dude, that, that might have been an indication of the beginning of the end of the Coke tube era. Yeah. That, I think, I think that might have been in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. But, like, it's so surreal because when you try and talk to – because, like, I don't know, we're online a lot only because, like, you can see where a lot of things form. You can see the inception of a lot of movements, a lot of uh, people having a hive mind, the same idea. And so many times you talk to other people and they go, dude, that's just online. That was told to me for fucking years, dude. Dude, you spend yeah. too much time online, man. Like, that's online shit. That's not real life shit. Then you go to Is a that gaslighting? No, but they're not doing it intentionally because they, they don't understand that things. Are they start that stupid? Online. Yeah. Well, they're not stupid. They're unaware. They're normies, dude. They want to go fucking to a baseball game and get a well, hot dude, dog and fucking. They want to do the American right, dream right, shit. Right. For sure. Their American dream doesn't involve protest. Well, dude, the, the fucking the American dream does. The fucking. Dude, the baseball games and football games are being encroached by BLM horror shit now, and and, and you know that again. The, I was didn't talking about speak like up earlier. Early enough. I was, you know, I, 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 uh, I was talking about how back in like the mid 2000s, like this tranny stuff didn't exist. Well, it did exist online on this website that you may be familiar with called Tumblr. Live. Well, yeah, but I was going to say Live Journal. Live like Journal. that's the website. That's Jesus. the website that a community with like 420 members, like fringe people that like they're all gathering like they're the one freak at their high school and they're all gathering on this message board or whatever this live journal community and talking about how there's no gender and there's white white people don't exist yet they're also really the apotheos apotheosis of evil that was just like a well, scene no, thing in the hardcore scene to have a live journal i didn't know it was that shit i'm no i'm saying like i'm saying that back then that would would have been the only place you would have been able to find these oh tranny right like activists. fucking 15 years ago 
Yes, back then it was just online, but but it grew and these motherfuckers got aggressive and tried to wedge it into every space. And now now we are where we are. It only took like seven to 15 some odd years. Nobody you know? wanted but to I confront mean, it. Nobody wanted to fucking confront it. No matter how, no matter how much you scream from the fucking rooftop, which is why I used to fucking. Yeah. Do. And, and I didn't know, yeah. didn't know about it until 2014 though, either. So or I didn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't fully see it the way it is until, cause it was hard to see. You know? Right. But when you can't unsee it, it's very much a pill that you take and you go, wow, I can't unsee this. And then you try and talk yep. to other people, something that just factually fucking exists. Like, I don't know, a black guy fucking fighting a cop and getting arrested. I remember this with Terrence Crutcher. In October, I think, of 2016 with a co-worker where he was like, oh, what, so he deserved to die? And I was like, no, dude, he wasn't, he was walking away from the cop. There's a helicopter above him. He was in the middle of the fucking road and the cop was telling him to fucking walk toward him and he was turning around, walking away, and then he reached into his fucking car and got shot. Like, what? He has no accountability? I, I, dude, I, I... I'm like going through things again, remembering when I like these moments, these milestones in time where I was like, am I fucking going crazy? Am I, am I taking this too seriously? Does, how does somebody else not see that? Like this black guy easily could have prevented the situation by complying with the fucking police officer. Holy shit, dude. That was like a PTSD did, flashback. Did, mm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the left needs to stop with the, the left needs to stop and the right or whoever the non left needs to stop. Uh, entertaining this deserve crap like deserve or not deserve that's not really that doesn't enter into it that's a moral or like an emotional appeal right yes or, um it's an emotional appeal like you think he deserved to die look at this cute baby picture of him he's such a nice boy like that that's what it's meant to bring up right deserve it's, it was the same thing right. I, Trayvon I got martin with, dies at 17 and they post yeah. a picture of him when he was like fucking 12 yeah, and I, I, I got into it with uh, some high school, old high school friends at a din din one time about the gay issue and like AIDS in the gay in the gay community. And it's like one of them was like, you think that they deserve to die? And it was like, well, no, it's just it's common sense. If you go around having a lot of uh, oh promiscuous, unprotected, you go around having a lot of promiscuous, unprotected butt babies. What about uh, the bug chasers? What about the ones that like to get AIDS and spread AIDS? Have you seen that Sam Hyde video, by the way? Well, I mean, that's probably like a anomaly, isn't it? Um, amongst an well, anomaly like, what gays. about them, dude? Do they deserve to die? You think they deserve to die just because they're getting AIDS on purpose and spreading it on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> like, where do we take that? Probably. When does someone deserve to die? <laughs> okay, where's the line? Well, there is no. There, but the thing is, is there is no deserve, especially with like a virus, and there is no deserve if it clearly looks like the dude's grabbing for a gun or a knife or something like. Or swinging a knife or shooting a gun. Right, it's the same way they use the word just target. Link, same way they use the word target, dude. They say deserve, and it's like that's not what the word. That's not how this conversation. You've just be. relinquished your. You've just relinquished your right to life, basically. If you attack somebody else, you put your life in someone else's hands. That's yeah, what you it's, did. It's what it comes down to. Yeah. All right, let's try anyway, and fist, fist fuck this thing out of out of the park. Because I see people saying white lives matter online, mostly alongside them calling for a white ethno state, the genocide or deportation of black and brown people. We just need to be careful about which groups. Yeah, right. Saddle along. Well, you and know, I know, you know that Jesse Lee Peterson founded it, so you know it's going to be centrist and fair. Oh, one hundred percent. There's he no. didn't actually Jesse name Lee any Peterson groups. Well, dude, this is no serious. curtailing this whatsoever even... to white nationalist groups. I know that for a fact. This is so for it's him going to, to be get a, the a larger through. following. He's already blowing up. Okay, last thing. We we all know that um, this whole all these protests are really dumb, and they're talking about police reform. We need <laughs> black yeah. reform. We have to deal with black brutality. Yep. And we need to deal yep. with you know the the black Based. family issue. Both of you guys agree. What do you propose for black reform? Easy nice. answer, easiest answer of my life. Based. More guns. I take the conservative approach. A more armed society is a safer society. We need the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He wants the black KKK. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He wants the black KKK, dude. He wants the, those psychos who are going up to the car with their guns and their black masks, Here's... like demand a reparations and shit. He wants more of that. I criticize Vosh for this, and I also criticize conservatives for this, okay? So, okay, try and stay with me. I feel like this is pretty succinct. 
on the left and on the right, I think we agree that poor equals more crime, right? Mm, not that necessarily. tends that tends to be that tends to be the narrative anyway. Like poor areas tend to have true. more crime. All right, poor areas tend to have more crime. Poor areas tend to be lower IQ. Let's give a bunch of dumb motherfuckers that are already committing crimes just a bunch of guns, dude. That'll make it fucking better. Hey, you already know what well, fucking I... what communities have a lot of fucking guns? Black communities already have a lot of guns. What the fuck is he talking about? If, if we were to actually brutally enforce the gun laws, like if you fuck up with a gun, you're going away for a really long time with no parole. They don't care then, about going then... to jail. They like going to jail to see their fucking boys, dude. They don't give a fuck yeah, about going to jail. In jail, like, yeah, but they'd be away from the safe people if that were the case. Uh, there's know, a lot of them, problem. dude. It's generational. I, I, there's a, there's a factor that out. makes them get them out. <laughs> get them out, <laughs> right, dude? Just and fucking. I bet you JLP, you know, JLP oh. and uh, Hake Report agree with me. Like Black you're reform, shoveling dude. coal into a furnace. Gotta go. <laughs> Black reform, dude. Party back, yeah. The real one, the one from the 1960s. I want to see black folks in berets with ARs standing outside every single courthouse in Detroit. No. He's Chicago. not a real fucking I want to see person. them lining up. I want them following police cars. I he's think not that's a real person. Well, he's being contrarian. He's like, breakfast. he's trying to, that's what I'm saying, dude. He's using the conservative in, um, argument against him. In uh, Chicago quite a bit back in the day. So that's my, that's my answer. I'm taking the conservative route on this one. More guns. Elijah? Yeah. And then you have white armed, uh, white nationalist groups, just like the black nationalist groups following the black nationalists. You I don't, don't know though. A like a clown <laughs> car following the whole neighborhood. With, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. These guys are such jokers. Following what some people call the greatest cartel in America, the, the, the universal police. I don't know if that's a good, if that's a good idea, but I will say this. I think it's uh, I think it's time. It's just for, for grifting. And this is really hard because I, I would say this without bringing up the fact that a lot of these extreme groups that are unbalanced are, are, are getting. Before both of them went on the show, they both thought in their mind. The number one factor was what kind of audience do I want to grow and expand out to? <laughs> that's yeah. it. That's, that, that's all they're presenting from themselves. Fosh is never like yep. this. A lot of the funding. So it's really Elijah Schaefer always is, though. <laughs> Wow, so he really is authentic. Vosh changed like a chameleon, and Elijah Schaefer is always this way. Stop feeling like they need to solve black people's problems for them. Because I, <clears throat> I believe in, like, like actually with Vosh saying about arming people, I believe communities should solve their own issues. I think that if there's yeah. truly national Free, get systems... Get them police out of there. They're, they're, what does that idiot. mean, communities solving their own issues? Uh, well, he's he's saying, I mean, he's. it sounds like he's doing, like, conservatives are the real Black Lives Matter. So I think I me. think, like... Communities can solve their own issues in like an ethno state, if in like a monoculture. Listen, what Elijah Schaefer just advocated communities solving their own problems like that's sort of, I mean, that's sort of what I agree with, but like you have to all be on the same kinda, page, you can't do it with diversity. But like, but I, I thought BLM wants to abolish the cops and then have community policing or community social work, yada, yada, yada. And then, uh, so Vosh just chimed in after Elijah said that and said, yeah, get rid of the police or whatever he just said. So again, these two just are on the same spectrum, dude. Well, like I would trust, like, what? I would trust Ch if Chinese people were like, you know what? We can solve our own problems, but you want to know why they never have to say that? Because they already solved their own problems. Hey, black people. We wouldn't have yeah. to be having this conversation if you were able to solve your own fucking problems, but you can't. You guys don't think you can solve your own problems because there's police? Who's making you hang out on the fucking stoop outside? Like, dude, <laughs> you can solve your own fucking problems, but you can't. You're inarticulate and you're fucking violent. Never see this in, like, dude, I just love how this black and white. There's no Hispanics. There's no Asian people. It's just black people and white people. It's it's insane, dude. There's no it's there's more the kinds crafted, of people. Yeah, it's a carefully crafted uh, just manipulation. So someone's getting power, and I wonder who could possibly be that's gaining power from this. Police out of there. If, if, there, if there's great, if there's actually national systems and state systems, that's true. But considering the fact that most police sheriffs and and uh, police and sheriff uh, chiefs are, are elected, not to mention a lot of police are locally elected, the leaders of the police, city council are locally elected, the mayors are locally elected, and when you see the people who are 
leading and organizing these areas. It's like when I look at police brutality, it's the, the biggest issues are in longstanding Democrat controlled areas with Democrats, <laughs> with, with even right, with right. inner city Democrats, inner city Democrats, minority run right. police departments. There you and go. You're going Los Angeles, minority New York, run. Minneapolis, Chicago, I mean, these St. Louis, Detroit. How do you feel about calling them minorities? It's bizarre because, well, you know, obviously globally, they're not a minor. Uh, they're not a minority. They're yeah. breeding and fuck. They're fucking like rabbits, you know. And and you know, it's it's it like this is another example of how, of how uh, conservatives are half right and then just half dreadfully wrong. He's starting off with like the stupid Democrats are the real racists or whatever the real uh, problem. Then he hints at oh they're minority run. Okay, well maybe one of those two things you brought up is the core of the problem um because as you noticed like democrats run you know burlington vermont and by all accounts burlington vermont's a great place to live democrats also run detroit not so much democrats don't run liberia liberia is a shithole uh what is the real common denominator in all these different places <laughs> So, but like you know. the, the reason why I don't like whenever they say people of color, it just means fuck white people. But so does it minority. It minority does. just means like we need to stop having the verbiage of dividing all of fucking humanity into white and not white. Like, like minority. Yeah. Like, okay, well that's gonna be the majority. Like, are are we still gonna be the majority when we're forty nine percent? Technically, well, we're, we're, technically, we're, yeah. We're, 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 Here's how convenient we're it the is. Ma- we're still we're the minority gonna... when we're 6% of the global population, so... Right, but, like, we're still... Here's how tricky the lefties are going to be. We're still going to be considered the majority when, when it's 49% white. Do you want to know why? Because Hispanics are still technically going to be, like, 30%. You know what I'm saying? And blacks are 13%. Even when mm-hmm. we're less than 50% white, the lefties will still drive us into the fucking ground and still say we're the majority. Even though they divide everyone into white and... Think of how tricky that is. They divide everyone into white and not white. So once we're 49%, they're still going to go, you're still the majority population. Anyway, we're going to talk about fucking non-white people and white people. How tricky is that shit? They'll still call us the majority when we're under 50. You wait and see, buddy. I mean, these are Democrats up to the top. Seattle, Portland. And it's like, that's where the problems are at. Well, then the system might be part of the party. And I think that Sean King is, is a bit right on, <laughs> on some of these things where the Democrats are taking for granted people's votes. They don't care about them. And when the community realizes that that you're not you getting DR3 free shirt. stuff, he just they are said, taking you he just for granted said by giving that Sean to King and by, by giving right. opportunity yep. and, that, and that by people trying to solve black people's well, that's problems, the issue. They're you're actually strong and institutionalized They think he's so just a I, typical I fucking lefty when they don't realize that. They weren't They weren't trying to solve. Oh, we got it. All right. They weren't trying to solve black people's problems, the Dems. They were just benefiting from electoral patterns. But a black police officer don't fix police racism. We've been talking about black violence and black brutality. We've been talking about you, Jesse, and how you're the one good black. But That's right. But listen, July is White History Month. This year we are celebrating our third year of White History Month. I started it two years ago. Come three years next month. And oh, I four. started in July because July just feels white. Will you guys celebrate that July? Uh, Can I celebrate my ancestry? Yeah. <laughs> so what? Can I celebrate my ancestry? Only if they're white. Oh, yeah. No, my Polish whites, um, they uh, fought and died fighting the Nazi <laughs> occupation back during World War II. Well, no. So I'll, I'll celebrate my white history by fighting Nazis online. Will you celebrate well, like- no. You sound just like. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a big, I'm really big on U.S. history, and I don't think that it's weird to have. I don't think it would be weird to have a White History Month. I don't like uh, identity politics history oh months, but God. I definitely Fourth of July is a big part of my family. He my wife's from Australia. All of this is our first big Fourth sentiments. of July that we're going to be throwing a party out here in Texas. There's going to be people of all different colors, sexual orientations. Will and you religious celebrate beliefs. White History Month? So that's what I'm saying. So if that's the month, and if that's what you say, it is, I will be celebrating uh, and looking at my culture in July. So I guess so you will it, celebrate is it real? with us. Will you celebrate well, I'm saying, with is, us? Is it a, is, I didn't hear about it. Is White History Month is a real thing. It's a real thing. This is the third year of celebration of White History Month in July. All right. All right. Black History Month, White History Month. Will you celebrate, celebrate White History Month with us, Elisha? Yes. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah. Let's, let's what about Asian? Wait, oh, are, do the Asians have a, do they have a month in this? Or? Oh, yeah, that's June. That that's June. When, when they graduate, all the, when they, when they graduate. What about the Hispanics? All the colleges. 
I hope they oh, never Oh, that's got, a good one. Oh, we have. <laughs> okay, dude. This we have to even this out because there's white, black, and then Asian. No, they're yellow. This is bullshit. <laughs> like I don't know why wear color and like their blacks are like they can they can pin the black and white against each other because they're both colors. So we got black, white, yellow, brown. It's Hispanic and Indian. Oh, <laughs> is it like poo poo brown? It's not black. <laughs> Fecal. <laughs> yeah, fucking fucking. Well, the Asians Mookie don't want to be. Well, the 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 Asians probably don't want to be called yellow. Uh, why I don't, I don't I just think it's fucking annoying how it's like oh it's a white month and a black month and dude how confused are immigrants coming to this country right now <laughs> I want to talk to I honestly would love to have an immigrant oh, on fuck. and fucking talk to him and go dude what is the what is the rest of the world like like how weird is this fucking country to you holy shit imagine that you you just leave like a fucking war torn like they think you fucking rape a baby to cure AIDS part of fucking Africa, you'd be like, hey, that's not true. Let me get the fuck out of here. You come over to this fucking country, okay? You're here for like six months. You drive for fucking, uh, for fucking Uber and Lyft and whatnot. You get some money. You bring your kids over. They go to college. And then, like, this shit's happening. And they're like, what the fuck is going on right now? I don't know, dude. I, I can't, like, I can't imagine being an immigrant right now. Imagine having, like, an English as a second language class. Like, you're over here, you're like, fuck me, I don't, I didn't learn English. So let me try and learn English as, like, all this fucking crazy political fucking shit is happening, dude. Diversity is not fucking working at all whatsoever. <laughs> right, like, they come fucking over. fucking diverse. They, they come over from a, a country where, like, force-feeding a child's semen is a rite of passage into adulthood. Is that they, Papua like, New Guinea? Oh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure, but it they, they escape that. They escape that, and they come here and find out that people are rioting in the streets because the government won't fund like chopping a boy's testicles off and <laughs> transitioning to into a fucking woman. Like I, I don't, you know, like yeah, that, that gels <laughs> like, well with most immigrants. It's it's very bizarre. You're right. All right, now let's try and go fucking double fucking dick, double 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 vaginal, double anal on this thing. Here we Good go. One. Oh, we have a Mexican <laughs> month. Cinco oh, de Mayo, yeah. I thought, right? Uh, That's not a Cinco month. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Taco <somebody>. Tuesday. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Taco me, Tuesday is for white people. <laughs> let me say that that was hate. <laughs> let me, for the folks who don't know, they need to join hate show on uh, Monday through Friday. Look at the half-ass bump uh, they give the guy. It's just New up, Times uh, Roman with no background or I, anything. I need you guys to answer really fast for me. And, oh. and by the way, Elijah, last time I saw you, you had purple hair. What happened to it? Wow. Um, <laughs> Gator. Yeah, yeah no, uh, yeah, hundred um, percent. I was. Well, yeah, you got to look. You should look at how I used to look. I had nose piercing too, and <laughs> earrings, and hair. I was, uh, yeah, born and raised in L.A., so I looked like I was from L.A. Uh, then I met a woman. I I overcame my mother, like you would say. Um, I started <laughs> nice. making real money. I started fighting for real causes uh, and actually becoming a man. Right so on. I used to call. Him, I I was I was a queer, but not in the traditional <laughs> sense. But I was a bit. I wasn't a real man then. I was, was a, a boy. Bitch? Yeah, I was a bitch. I was a beta bitch, and and, and over time, um, and over time, I've become an alpha bitch. <laughs> yeah, where the where the alpha dude? I dude, have to I have to find oh a way. I have to find a fucking way of having you say beta like Jesse Lee Pearson, and then Jesse Lee Pearson saying beta, and I need a way for people to vote as to which one is Jesse Lee Pearson and which one is Durst. <laughs> Several times I have to look to see if he's fucking saying it, dude. It's it's insane. <laughs> hey guys. What's up, Jesse? I am a nurse. A nurse? <laughs> yeah. Beta! Rumar, are you the head of your wife? Beta! 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 Alpha queer is that you see him at pride parades, the seven foot tall giga chads with the rippling muscles and the sunglasses. They're out there. They're watching. <laughs> so I Maybe need not you guys to answer really quickly for me. I'm putting you in the hot seat. And so we got to go back and forth real fast. Um, all right. So I got to ask you, boys, are you a beta bitch as well? No, I'm an alpha bitch. <laughs> Ooh, well, why I do like you have a ponytail? Why do you have a ponytail like a beta bitch? 
Yeah, I got, you know why? Because the Greeks and the Romans, my white ancestors, used to wear their hair long so it would flow gloriously in blattle, the sun, catch, the sun catching on the brown hair. I'm just, I'm repping my ancestors, Mike. Wait a minute. I thought that they would have shaved Say hello to you, girlfriend, get... for me. I know I now met her last lots. time you were William here. Wallace, Say dude. hello for me, all right? Yeah, she liked uh, she liked meeting you very much. Yeah, I know. So yeah, let's I know. Go back and forth <laughs> Did you catch really the fast. Yeah, she liked meeting you very much. She goes, Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so right. backhanded. Uh, do you prefer blondes or brunettes? Either one. Brunettes. Elijah, you want to go first? Ooh. I do like Elijah's uh, answer. It depends on the skin color. If they're tanned, blonde. If they're pale, brunette. Yeah. Interesting. I think I'm brunette uh, across the board for the most part. Who has more control of a new? The news media in America, the left or the right? The left. I don't want to you. Billionaires. Billionaires. Right. Um, yeah, if I can, if I can step out, I'd say billionaires as well. I think I have to agree with that. Do you? That's weird, dude. Hey, do it's you think it's, it's weird? Billionaires. Do you think it's weird that all these billionaires are specifically going after the jobs of people on the right side of politics? That's weird, dude. And wait well, a minute, I mean, those like, billionaires a... aren't even doing it. It's like civilians that are fucking doing it. And then they're getting platformed by social media. Like, for example, anti fash Gordon on fucking Twitter. I don't know if it's still up there, but he was up for a while openly doxing political dissidents. And that was allowed to be up for fucking years. That's because, that's because pretty much everybody on every side of this fucking debate, so-called, is probably being propped up by the billionaires and... I don't know, man. Like, what they just did was probably some, like, just gay op where they were just, like, winking and nodding to their donors. <laughs> I don't but, know, like, man. when like, you say, like, the billionaires, like, I don't know, man. The billionaires. Like, that. that's as descriptive as you could be. Like, the question was the right or the left. And your answer is yeah, whoever you, has yeah. the most money, dude. No, attention is usually, social dude. currency nowadays. Usually, usually Jesse Lee Peterson won't stop directly asking the yes, the uh, oh, yeah, the he'll keep question. going, yes or no, yeah. yes or no, he'll just which one, left or right, until until they stop weaseling out of the question, he'll just repeatedly ask it over and over and over again. And it's amazing, I know. It's hilarious, it's, it's like, hilarious. Do you believe it's possible to live forever? Yeah. I think eternal life, yeah, I think our, I think our oh, souls damn. are eternal, our spirits eternal. Um, oh, I don't know if we're ever going to get there technologically, but I'd like I to live. No I could live forever through, you know, my children, their children. I can't Have imagine you ever been infinity, fat? so it's hard. Yeah, yeah, baby. Um, <laughs> I've actually nope. lost a lot of weight lately, so I'm. I, I don't have much time left to answer this in the affirmative, but yeah. Well, yeah, I've been. I was just was fat from the COVID, and then I fat shamed <laughs> myself because fat shaming works. And then now I'm still a little bit chubby. He but wants I've to be Milo diet since, Milo. Uh, wow, December. yeah. The Bi- show doesn't work, but I accept it. Congrats to your weight loss. Fat shaming. <laughs> fat shaming works as a Miloism. Prejudice against blacks. I love black I, people. His policies, mm-hmm. Joe Biden's policies, uh, are not in favor of black people. So if we're talking about real criminal justice reform. I think it would start by trying to rework what Joe Biden is largely, at least, uh, a monolith responsible for. He also Stop. definitely is not. There's nothing in his Stop. career that shows that he's pro-black. I mean, he's been in Senate. I mean, he's he's been the vice Stop. president. He's been around. For- <laughs> I want Dude, that's exactly- I want him to stop talking. I want to get through him talking. Oh, so yeah, tough on crime legislation. Like, uh, so this is the conservative position that tough on crime legislation is anti-black, and that conservatives are the real Black Lives Matter. Come on over, blacks. You know, it's 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 they're trying to shift the over. It's like. They're so stupid and grug brain that they don't maybe they don't realize they're shifting the Overton window to the left or maybe they just don't care because they're making money anyway. It seems like historically when we're tough on crime, the crime goes down, right? Like, okay, yes, and as a law and order conservative, you should want that. right? How is there no Elijah? conversation around crime homicide specifically being cut in half in a 20 year period? How? How? Is that just not discussed? Isn't that amazing how they always want to go 50, 60, 70, 100, 300 years ago? They never want to go back fucking 20 or 30 years? Yes, because the... In our lifetime? Because the Blexit grifters are fucking, like, pandering to... They have this stupid idea that, again, that if they fucking agitate for soft on crime horse shit, uh, they'll be able to get blacks to join the so-called conservative movement but what they've effectively done is deconservatized conservatism at the expense of trying to win 
and it's but it's like they're not win- they're only winning i guess more money or something or more influence and that's really with these two fagaloons that's what it's all about that's what Forever. it's all and now about. he's gonna fight uh once he went, now that he's mentally incapacitated, he's suddenly going to solve the issues of the black community. I all the power to him. <laughs> I'm not enthusiastic no, about Joe Biden, Joe Biden stupid, at all. Huh? I'm voting for him because he's better than Trump. That's it. I'm more invested in direct action. We'll see if we can't. Oh, but grab her by the pussy. Yeah, okay, was, dude. Uh oh. Grab her by the pussy. Uh oh. Bitching about. Did you bitching, hear what he, probably he said? Was bitching something about more protests. Well, kinda. no, he's probably the one. Hold on, hold on. He's probably the one bitching about grabber by the pussy infinitely, but we it's don't sneaky. even have evidence of him doing that. We don't even have evidence of him doing that, but we have ample evidence of Joe Biden sniffing children. But he's since he's a pedo himself, probably he sympathizes with that and will vote for Joe Biden. Okay, you know, he said he's more interested in direct action. Okay, yeah, terrorism. If you Terrorism. Google direct action, the first thing that comes up is the political usage of it, which is a term for economic and political acts in which the actors use their power, economic or physical, to directly reach certain goals of interest, in contrast to those actions that appeal to others, may include political violence or assaults. That's direct action. Yes. That's yeah, a dog whistle. Is, you know how often they say a, that people on the right are dog whistling, or when you make a joke, it's dog whistling? I'm more interested in direct yeah. action. Now, that's vague and nebulous, and he can go, oh, I didn't mean the politically extreme term, even though everything he fucking talks about is about political fucking radicalism. That was a nice little fucking sneaky boy in there. Direct action. All these fucking activists know what direct action is, and when you ask them, they say they support nonviolent direct action, which is a fucking lie. They support direct action. He just fucking let it slip. No one's gonna catch it. No one's gonna care. This is why I don't have a gun, because I blow my fucking brains out, okay? I gotta hold this in every day. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. See... To me, it's blatant. Yeah, um... Direct action just means terrorism. Like, left-wing terrorism. That's all it means. Yep. Alright, no That's lube. It. We're going in dry. Here we go. What's See, if we can't bully Biden out of office. Was the Chinese virus Wait, a hoax? Overplayed. Was the Chinese virus a hoax? Overhyped. Um, I... I, I think that the information that was given about the danger to certain populations uh, saying that it's a pandemic for all ages is not true. I think that it was certain populations at risk and we were lied to in terms of how it was transmissible Short in answers. terms of that there was all these, a- well, I'm saying asymptomatic people. Short answers. It wasn't a hoax, so black. but I think it was misrepresented with half truths. Uh, the Chinese virus was a hoax. COVID-19 is real though. Good. Then, um, then um, white privilege is a hoax. <laughs> Good. Yeah, and the China, you know, we, it originated in China. Like the the death count was overinflated. We already know that the masks and the fucking shutdowns didn't really work. And people keep going around misusing the term quarantine, and it really annoys me. Quarantine is obviously when you separate sick people from non sick people, not just indiscriminately making everybody stay the fuck home or not work or wear a mask. That's not what quarantine means. People are fucking stupid. And dude, this fucking shit is... Okay, do you think it's crazy that, like, the United States has the most COVID cases than any other country in the world? Do you think that's weird at all, dude, that it started in China and somehow we have, like, 25% of the world's cases? That fucking strange to you at all that we're all the way over here and... And it's because of Trump's ineptitude. Like, that doesn't seem fucky to anybody at all. Well, you know, it's fucky because everybody's out there fucking rioting, isn't it? Even in, still, in it, in it. dude. Like, before that, like, they're, they're, anyone that has COVID, first of all, less than 1% of people fucking die from COVID. Second of all, that doesn't sound fantastical to anyone. I, this, we do not have that much COVID in this fucking country. There's no fucking way, dude. Okay, we're not gonna touch dicks, okay? I'll get the fucking pussy, you get the asshole, or vice versa. Or you can just get the feet. Here we go. Oh, we're, women not, we're more... not gonna dock. <laughs> we're just gonna. It's the same thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no docking. Are all women talking. more or less happier today as a result of feminism? Far less. Less. Crazier. Um, I think everyone's yep. less happier today. The Angrier. pattern tracks across men as well. I don't think we have a good answer for how men and women are supposed to treat each other right now. I do. I think feminism has left an incomplete answer. I want to work on that. It's so I think women... men. I think men are are unhappy too. By the way, I think I think universally genders are unhappy because men are being told they can't be fucking masculine, 
white people are being told yeah. they can't associate with each other, and black people are being told that they're fucking oppressed. And then we have, yeah. like, Hispanics that are mostly in gangs. And then the Asians are doing really well. <laughs> That's kinda... And then the Native Americans are drinking themselves to death. Did I cover everybody? Yeah. Everyone fucking yeah, yeah. yeah, the the Asians and the Jews are doing great because pretty much everybody leaves them alone. All perpetuated by the left, by the way. And then yeah. you have... Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. the happiest people are probably fucking Republicans and Libertarians. They just care about themselves and 10 feet around them. Well, if... They have, uh, well, if they, if they get deplatformed or whatever, they're not so stoked. Well, they but... have their families, dude. They have actual shit right in right. front of them to fucking care who about. In, who is the most corrupt president in U.S. history? Bosh. Dude, oh, that's a tough one. Bosh. Would, would it have to be Jackson? Nick's? Uh, nah, I'll just take these. Yeah, Trump, why not? Go ahead. Clip me. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know. Barack Andrew, Obama. Andrew Jackson was pretty much an asshole. Fall like, Messiah. Kind of freak, but I mean, LBJ was a racist too and Bro. enslaved the black community. In the era, so I would Disagree pick one of those, that. but also I'm not as smart as, as, as you just is. So I probably don't remember my fourth grade history that well. You remember Obama. Obama. Obama was the most. You remember Obama Barack, right? Obama's the antichrist. Val, you know that he came from hell. He smells Bro. like sulfur. Thank you. I rest my Thank case. Thank you. I so, rest my case. Without Judeo-Christian morality, is it possible to have a truly free society? Yeah, I think it makes it easier. Um. Wow. I think uh, it, I circumcise think, the I Judeo think part. Works for and, at least yeah. two generations. <laughs> And I think down down term, I, I think that when you if you don't worship something, you'll worship anything, and I think it leads to chaos. And I, I don't believe Black in Judeo. I don't <laughs> believe in Judeo Christianity because I think Judeo beliefs focus on the law and not justification and this internal it's a very outward and i think it's very much aligned with the eastern tradition but i think yeah i think the the protestant or evangelical uh work ethic and also outlook on life is very beneficial to our society but also i think a lot of evangelical and christian people are batshit crazy and i think some of them uh, some of them too really are blind are blinded just like the far left because they're in their their bubbles and echo chambers. who are you who so, are you sorry, i was sleeping was fucking elijah talking worthless uh, Worthless thing to say. How about you, Bosh? I'm I'm riding with Biden, baby, all the way 2020. <laughs> then we kick him out in 2021. We're gonna get that guy impeached. He dies. He, he dies. Or yeah, we're gonna, gonna blow him into a heart attack. Absolutely. <laughs> His whole yeah. plan is to You should get him on your program sometime, do. JLP. That would be a conversation that I would be willing to pay for. That would be amazing. We're working. I would out. pay a hundred dollars. I would pay per view that. <laughs> oh, easily. That would be amazing. Uh, Bosh, let me ask amazing. do you know white people? I love white people. How about you, Elijah? Liar. Yeah, I'm married to white. Do you love Jews? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I love I love, yeah. I love, I love Jews. You love white Jews. or non white. Oh, I, mean, I, I mean I don't know a lot I don't know amazing. a ton of Jews. Uh my old producer was a Jewish person and Jewish people are are have a really, really strong culture and it's very Oh, you don't say. Yeah. Great I wonder food. why. Dude, I wonder, great food. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything to do with him uh, being just much of a questions. centrist. What is a man? Cook. Biological man. <laughs> I got to think of a funny answer. Elijah, you want to go first? <laughs> it's these simple questions that are the most philosophical. Um, a man, a man is liberal, somebody who, who separates himself from his mother and his father, learns to take responsibility and protection of a woman, procreates, if he can, biologically fertile and produce offspring oh, and raise them up in the ways if of God can, biologically. and the values of of in this case, I believe Western Christian uh, identity. That was not Why? how a man gives an answer. A man is someone with the strength of character <laughs> to look at what society expects of them and say, no, I'm gonna do my own thing. No matter how that ends up uh, working out, um, whether or not they choose to uh, 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 you know, wear suits or wear dresses or what have you, <laughs> I think that it's the the willingness to defy society. Men don't yeah, wear women dresses. Can't do that. I, have, I, have a, I mean, I, they don't. Yeah, because you're you're too, you're just worried. Yeah, because you're worried how you'll look in one. The men who do wear dresses, they slap that on. The confidence hey, I, you can't I even wore, begin. I they look a, absurd. I wore a dress uh, to a protest one time to see if they would attack it. That's that's what makes SJWs, Antifa, and Black Lives Matter. That's what makes them so cringy. Is like when they're like making out in front of Trump Tower, they're like, oh, that's gonna drive them crazy. It's like, I don't fucking, I don't fucking care. Like, what? Like, they think no, that, like, cringy. we're ripping yeah. our fucking hair out that there's two fucking dykes kissing in front of fucking Trump Tower. It's like, the, their confidence in their fucking arrogance is the basis of their fucking cringe.
That's what cringe hubris. compilations are. I mean, hubris. Yes. I mean, it's yeah. It's it, it's it's not that it's not that it's oh my god, I'm so homophobic that I'm tearing my hair out. It's that the hubris is so cringy that. You know, and also Elijah Shaver, like, again, like capitulating to the left. Hey, yeah, I wore a dress. Hey, look at me. So this is what conservatism is. It's wearing a dress and being soft on crime and talking like a fag. Well, dude, remember when they, when they had fucking like in the UK, like Trump was visiting and they had like a, a baby Trump balloon no. in the air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, you're about. like that was cringy. Because of their confidence, yeah. like, oh, this is going to drive him crazy. We're going to see he has small hands and then he's orange. And we're going to see he's like a baby. It's like, right? Because oh, my left, God, that's yeah. so cringy. Like, you think you're getting someone so fucking good when no one fucking cares. That confidence. The left that's the confidence I was meme. talking about from Vosh. The left cannot meme because the left cannot tell the truth. And in order to be... be meme you have to be able to be funny and what do you need to be funny you have to be able to tell the truth right dude so yep. since all progressives do is lie 100 percent of the time without exception the left cannot meme and dude my friend katie's pretty apolitical like like most of us like center left kind of like that came from that or whatever and like she'll have lefty friends that try and chastise her they'll message her privately and go this is kind of problematic because like you're getting attention on something that i don't agree with and say that she fucking like sends alt right memes, and she just goes, "Then get, then give me your good lefty memes. You don't have any." And she's pretty unbiased and objective. She's like, <laughs> "Get better memes. The right wing memes are fucking crushing it. Your memes fucking suck." That's just that- yeah. I mean, I could show you, I could show you this like uh, tranny that used that I used to know when he was a dude. Um, I could show you this human beings. Uh, Facebook page and it's just nothing but just horrible memes like everything just, they all of their memes are interchangeable they're non-specific all of their memes are interchangeable huh Trump's dumb okay well you're dumb like it's it's like you huh, can just right say all of it the, about them it's like well right wingers are the real crybaby snowflake SJWs it's like okay dude it's like they're just not trying to use the words that true. we used for them in 2015 and they don't know how yeah, to use right. the words either. They don't. They don't know. Right. Hey, now I know how black people feel when white people try and use their words. That's what lefties do when they try and use snowflake triggered and shit like that. Wow. Now I know how that right. stupid using, black bitch feels. They're using snowflake in response to people not appreciating Who disagree? them committing art. Well, no, they're using snowflake in response to people being upset. Uh, in response to them burning shit over Even if like you disagree, a dude, dude who OD'd, they'll just yeah. All or, right, or, or snowflake, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Burn, <laughs> you know because fucking eighty percent of Twitter is lefties and they all just fucking dogpile everybody. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Transformation because I I self identified for a day just as an experiment. All and, um, right. I'll tell, all what, right. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I didn't look good. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I, I you're right. I, your I didn't soul wasn't into it because you weren't really trans. If you actually accept it deep in your heart, the magical, the the you know, the transformation takes place, and then people know, I, and you know, my boobs weren't big he enough. He admits to it's mystical chest, bullshit. So. What is love? Also a problem. What is love, guys? Right wing audience. I, I have to take a second to think of a funny answer here. Uh, <clears throat> I think love uh, comes from God, and it oh. is defined absolutely as selflessness and aligning yourself with the standards of what, what the Bible teaches. That's really what I believe in a personal way, but in love socially, I think love is learning to, to really uh, look out for the needs of others, even when it's inconvenient for yourself. So why? I mean, that's not funny, but it's true. Yeah. I think, I think, I think love, love is the willingness to sacrifice um, parts of yourself um, to preserve a relationship that you have with someone or something. Um, and to to and for their benefit, I think. Amazing. Um, and the many ways that can take shape. Did you have fun? Every time, always. You. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, you gotta have me. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta have me back on for some more fun segments. Vosh's because, uh, existence especially, hey, when is LA, to subvert I'll hit people you on the right to the left. So, yes. so we can do something because I'll be do. out there pretty. I'll be out there in the next few months. So. Absolutely. Be sure to do that. So so let me ask you this, yeah. Nick. Did you have fun? No.
<laughs> Beta! Oh my god. I meant that when I said no just then. Like, because I already... I, Vosh already drains a lot of energy from me. Having to, like, fucking clean up his fucking... Uh, poke holes in the fucking shit that he's saying. But, like, Elijah Schaefer just drained the energy out of me. But I... I was literally, like, remember when you were saying stop and I wasn't stopping because I just wanted to wait until he was done talking? <laughs> I wanted to get through what he was speaking. I never do that when someone's speaking either. I never do that. I try and give him a chance and understand what I can't listen to him, dude. His words are the equivalent to a really cheap pillow filling. It's just innocuous fucking fluffy material that's not even that comfortable and doesn't have much of a use. Oh, you mean... Casper the ghost looking ass Elijah Schaefer. Oh my god. Dude, and I didn't even notice that when I was just fucking flipping through it. I didn't even realize it was to that fucking extent where he was that squishy of a fucking human being. It yeah. really yeah, is I a mean, shame it, too, because yeah. I'd love to go in something deeper with uh with Vosh, but like if he has a two hour debate, that's gonna be a six hours of fucking content, you know? That's why I, I I'm trying to find things that are why can't we get someone hour. like Vosh? Why can't we get someone like Vosh or uh, fucking Elijah Schaefer on here? We're not. I mean, I guess we're we're not that big, but we're kind of big. We're, we're, we're mid. We're, I don't know, low to mid size. What the fuck are we gonna talk about? They're only gonna do something to fucking platform I don't themselves. Know. I'd have to go on his shit if I was gonna do anything with Vosh. I have to fucking yeah, well, smuggle then, my way I mean, on there. Would, That's why I like learning. Well, you would his, just yeah. You would just like copy it onto whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, whenever I talk to somebody online, I'm recording it. But the, but what? So then his fucking sycophant audience can fucking act like they're dunking on me the whole time. I've already seen him debate people that have done a really good... Like, actual Justice Warrior fucking debated him. And his fucking audience, dude. That's why I like the blood sports thing. I don't know. It just turns into blood sports. It turns into trying to fucking dunk on each other. And... Yeah. It, it's It's... That's why I liked actually talking to like one of his supporters and like give like be good faith with them because they're already expecting from me that I'm not going to be good faith, uh, being as charitable as possible to a fucking psychotic person, and they're like, well, like <laughs> I I like talking to people that are away from the crowd, because then you can actually hear what the crazy shit they actually really fucking think. Now w- when it's in front of an audience, dude, I, it's I don't even know if the fucking conversation's worth it, if it's in front of a fucking audience. There's really no, I mean, like yeah, with the tranny. Really oh, we no we have we haven't broken down the tranny one, have we? That would be one we could do. No, and there's no point in really talking to these people because they think that like alt right agitators started the riots. You know, like they're that fucking delusional and psychotic. No, but I really like breaking down their fucking uh, sneaky fucking debate tactics, dude. So maybe it, yeah, at some point I, I like to break down the fucking tranny one. It's only forty two minutes, and the fucking thing rage quit. And I have a uh, I have a funny anecdote at the end about it too, about how the my shit thing. my shit was <laughs> my shit but my shit was left fucking. It was my first time using Discord, and the, my fucking microphone was on after I thought it was turned off for a half an hour. And uh, I'll have to save the things that I said about it uh, when I didn't know it was recording for a half an hour to a fucking audience of a. Uh, Hundred and fifty, uh, a hundred and thirty live viewers that list lefties that ha- fucking heard me trashing it for being trans. What are they pointing at? They're pointing at the Republican National Convention. Why are they saying shame? Because of what the Republicans have done to this country and the world in the last four years. 